When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Baker's, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Baker's worth it every time. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Want to hear an amazing story? Back in 1960, Coach Brooks was on the Olympic hockey team. But a week before the games, his coach cuts him and sends him home. And that team went on to win the gold medal without him. Herb Brooks had given up his dream of Olympic glory <laughs> until 20 ordinary kids. Why'd you want to play hockey? Isn't it obvious for the girls? <laughs> gave him a second chance. The Soviets win. My goal is to beat them at their own game. Beat the best team in the world. Gold medalists in 64, 68, 72, 76. Name? Mark Johnson. Buzzy Schneider. Michael Rizzioni. You're missing some of the best players. I'm not looking for the best players, Craig. I'm looking for the right ones. They were bitter rivals. A lot of guys from Minnesota and Boston. Yeah, that's gonna work. But one coach had a plan to turn them into a team. Well, I got no time for quitters. You want me to play, huh? I want you to be a hockey player! I am a hockey hey. player! Think that'll get them going? Oh, yeah. When you face the impossible... Russia's main weapon is intimidation. These guys ever smile? They're Russians. They get shot if they smile. And you refuse to give up. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. Yeah, you did. We start becoming a team right now. Miracles can happen. When you pull on that jersey, the name on the front is more important than the one on the back. Michael Ruggioni. Who do you play for? I play for the United States of America. Welcome to the Olympics, gentlemen. Walt Disney Pictures presents... This is something that this country is ready for. Great moments are born from great opportunity. If we play them ten times, they might win nine, but not this game. Listen to it. We can beat these guys. Discover the story. This is your time. Behind the greatest moment in sports history. Why'd you want to play college hockey? <laughs> That's... Cap and Gown, the podcast where four old millennials talk about the high school and college movies from back in the day when we were high school and college students to find out what made the grade and what should have been held back. I'm representing the class of 03, I am your co-host Crooks. Joining me this week and every week, he sings like an angel and drinks like a fish, the class of 04's own Big Hern David Oscar Hernandez. What up, Dave? Not much. Saw something on the internet, thought you might be interested in. Apparently there's an EA Sports NCAA Football 2025. Oh, in- yeah, Dave, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if you were aware, but I was pretty sure you were probably aware. But uh, and it looks pretty cool. Very it, exciting. It stuff. is it NCAA football 2014 is the only video game I've played for the past decade. I still have yep. it. Yep. Um, it's still great, but like I don't have any of the games for my PS3. I don't have a PS4. I have one mm. game and one system, and that is it. Um, and I, I, I think I have to get a PS4 now just to get upgrade NCAA football 25, but I, I'm very excited for it. I'm happy. The players are getting paid. Um, I, I'm hoping that they really do some, some unique in stadium stuff. Cause they tried yeah. in the last one and it pissed me off. Um, if a touchdown gets scored at Iowa, we chant I O W A. Like there's four sections of the stadium. Each have a letter. According yeah. to EA sports, we chant I O W A. No one does that. <laughs> at a triangle stadium and it sounds dumb as hell i'm like the oh, fuck that so hopefully yeah. they get some of the stuff more accurate this time there's, i am excited for it and there's talk about incorporating like a crossover with with madden so you can create your players and have them go from one game to and the they other. had that they had that previously if you do a season um in ncaa then when the season ends it asks if you want to export your class to madden 
Um, but it is specifically Madden 14. Like it only works oh. for the year that, that <laughs> yeah. So you, you want to play that's, Madden 14 with Matt Ryan, you know, have at it, but yeah, but uh, you know, I don't have Madden anyway. I'm not cool like that. I'm going to buy um, it. I'm, I, I'm uh, yeah. excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm very excited for it. Uh, flying solo in the Lone Star State, this podcast chief strategist and trivia correspondent from the class of 01, Dana Griffin. What up, Dana? Not much. Um, I don't know much about video games, but hmm. I, in a sense of action, I went and saw the Fall Guy this weekend. How was that? Delightful. Very, okay. like, silly, funny. Light. It was, it was great. I had a grand time. Okay. They don't make movies like that anymore. It's not okay. like, as someone who sits through a lot of Fast and Furious movies, mm-hmm. the action is good okay. on that level. But the, okay. also the acting is very good because it's Ryan fucking Gosling and Emily Blunt. So it's not like, Vin Diesel talking about family. Okay. You know got a I, super I, agent human people. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Controversial hot take. I'm a little bit tired of Ryan Gosling. I'm, Get the fuck out of here. I, Absolutely not. I, I'm ready for him to go away for a while. No, um, no, no, no. Never, yeah. never, never. He's so no, sweet, so delightful. Excellent mm. film. Highly recommend. Everybody go have a fun time in the theater. You're yeah. laughing. You're watching action. <laughs> You're just enjoying yourself. Not thinking too hard. Highly recommend. Let's see. I, I can't recommend anything because I've been up to my ears in Kendrick and Drake breakdown reaction videos on YouTube. They're all fucking great. Um, watching people react to hearing A minor for the first time makes me laugh. Uh, watching I haven't people... listened to a, an, oh. a second of the bit. I've oh. been following the Twitter oh, stuff and the Instagram stuff, but I have not listened to a single... Actually, that's not true because I listened to someone reacting to Kendrick playing... The last, like, I got you one, like, oh, not, can't touch the, the, the kid. The fun one? Oh, well, no. that, all, all oh, sorry, Drake. Are, Drake. Oh, that song Which was trash. That? that was, that yeah. was, he, he bowed out with that one. That's the only one I've heard because it's like the comedian reacting oh, as no. if Drake's playing it for him for the first time and just being like, you, you, you heard Emmy, <laughs> or did you eBay? Check it out. Electric you heard Lebanon. the worst song in the entire beef. Yeah. <laughs> you heard I heard the, the saddest, worst track. 45 seconds of it. Yep, that's the only one I've listened to. Oh, man. That's it. Well, but I've been so, following along. So I have hated Drake since Drake became Drake. I feel vindicated. And um, there's some a couple of YouTube channels that I, that I go to whenever something happens in hip-hop because they're really good at breaking down lyrics and kind of explaining everything. Um and watching this through that lens has been amazing uh friday when three songs came out on the same day that was great and now that the beef is over because drake's career has suffered irreparable damage they are reacting to this video called drake's disturbing history i think is what it's called Ooh, shit is it's nine minutes of receipts it's it's like it's like nine months old before this beef, but it's just nine minutes to be like, here's him being creepy with a 16 year old. Here's yeah. him being creepy with a 14 year old. It's just over and fucking over again. So, yeah, I mm, makes me really, really happy that that fan is up out of here. Um, speaking of fans, what are we talking uh-huh. about? Where can we get it? And what is it about? Dana? Oh, you don't get the reference. There's a whole the people that know uh-huh. it's I'll, I'll I'll explain after the song after the podcast is over. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just like I want to stay in the dark. I no, I've heard a little bit. Of I'm not going to let um, you. <laughs> not, not one of us. We're not, not, not like, like us. us is a fucking. Bot. Yeah, because yeah. I, I watch Rick Ross like. Playing it's in just the club it's, a, and it's, it's the so only fun Kendrick Lamar song. <laughs> like he doesn't have any of those. There's something uh, you can dance to. Humble anyway. is okay. Mm. I'll, I'll find something I enjoy. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so fan, I guess um, this movie. It's a sports film, and they have fans in them. Mm-hmm. Um, we're watching mm-hmm. Miracle <laughs> from 2004. It's on Disney+. Plus. It might be somewhere else, but I don't know. I didn't check. Um, mm. The synopsis via Rotten Tomatoes is when college coach Herb Brooks, who I kept in my head going like Herb Ritz. No, not Herb Ritz. Oh, Herb Brooks. Herb, Herb, Herb Brooks. Um, is hired to helm the 1980 U.S. men's Olympic hockey team. He brings an eight. Unique and brash style to the ice, after assembling a team of hot-headed college all-stars, 
were humiliated in an early match, Brooks unites his squad against a common foe, the heavily favored Soviet team. As the U.S. squad tries to overcome insurmountable odds and win the gold medal, the team becomes a microcosm for American patriotism during the Cold War. It's pretty accurate. That's, that's mm-hmm. basically what happens. Um, Dave, if you could give us a rundown of who's in this movie. Uh, Herb Brooks is played by Kurt Russell. Uh, he's pretty good. No, he's pretty, pretty good. good uh patty brooks his wife is patricia clarkson assistant coach craig patrick played by noah emmerich he's one of those guys like yes yeah, i've seen him before he's yeah, as biff things. yeah he he is biff he's biff adjacent definitely yeah. <laughs> definitely that big biff uh the general manager of the u.s olympic hockey team is walter bush and he's played by sean mccann i think he was in the last yeah he was the coach in the Movie we just watched, the basketball movie. Oh Europe. God, he was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was. Yeah. That's how we got to Miracle yeah. a little bit. Last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, the doctor, Doc Nagobods. Nagobods. Sure. sure. Like, I don't know. <laughs> played by Kenneth Welsh. Uh, Jim Craig is played by Eddie Cahill. Uh, Mike Arruzzioni played by Patrick O'Brien Dempsey. Jack Ooh. O'Callaghan played by Michael. Mantenuto, Rob McClanahan, Nathan West, Ralph Cox, Kenneth Mitchell. It's a lot of, a lot of nobodies. <laughs> a lot accurate. of nobodies. But uh, Al Michaels and, and, and Ken Dryden, they redid some of the voiceover for the Soviet game. So that was new. Some of it was new. Why? Because you have the original audio. For clear, just... for, 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 for clear audio. Oh. Um, except, for the did... last, except for the last 10 seconds. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Um guys, oh, they had I to just clean it up this. to make it even yeah, listen to Um it he's not gonna be my pick for IMDB deep dive, but Nathan West, who plays McClanahan, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, was it McClanahan Bob. or McClanahan? There's both of those, right? There's O'Callahan and McClanahan. So he okay. played McClanahan. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um he was in Bring It On. Look at him returning. Doing uh, what? Yes, he was one of the cheer guys. Jan. Oh, oh. He was like the not gay, yeah. male cheerleader and Bring It On. That's the first yeah. film we did. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. It He's also not, not another team movie, but not, no, no, not, 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 not gay. Not gay. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. What, what okay, this is also not my IMDb deep vibe, but he's also in the skulls too. So I don't. Oh, just... Boy. Oh. Goodness gracious. A masterpiece, well, uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, let's sorry. go around the horn here and give some memories of the first time we saw this one. Dana, what do you got? Okay. So this is like one of the few that I have like super vivid memory of because it was uh the summer going into my senior year and a bunch of us just stayed at Lehigh. Some people because I had to go to class or work and me just because I just didn't feel like going home and I thought it would help me like train for my final like field hockey season. So I remember... We were, uh, until our like off-campus house was ready, we were staying at some of my teammates' off-campus house. So it was at their house. We're just like, for some reason, had this film. I don't know if we like, some of that Netflix. I don't know. I don't know why we had Miracle, but we're like, let's watch this. And we thought it'd be whatever. I remember being like so incredibly engrossed. We all stayed up like way too late watching it because it is two hours and 15 minutes. Long as shit. And it goes, it, it does, like it starts to drag. You like, feel the length. Sadly, you feel it, but then like it gets you back at the end. So we'll talk about that. But like it does start to drag. And I remember we were like, I think we finished at like 1.30 in the morning or more. Like it was super late. But I just remember being like kind of bored. My friend and I are like texting each other about people in the room with us, but then saying we're not texting about you. <laughs> Get over yourself. God, uh-huh. narcissistic. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it went like the end game. Like we were like so amped. We're like running around the house being like, you are so, you are so, like yeah. so oh my excited God. about it. But like <laughs> it we were that. like, I just vividly remember it. Summer of 2004, watching this thing on Webster Street on the campus of Lehigh University. So yeah. All right. Solid. Vivid. Dave, memories for you? Saw it in the theater. Um oh. I think I'm just about to graduate from high school, but this, this, this story, um, back when I played hockey, they, 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 they made it a, an, an attempt at this movie before it was a made for TV movie that came out about a year after it actually happened in 81. Oh, that's too um, soon. Starring a few folks you, that we, we would know uh, Jim, Jim Craig was played by Steve Gutenberg. 
I oh, remember. Wow. Um, <laughs> Je- and, uh, I will spit my water out. What? Her, her, her Brooks's wife was played by Jessica Walter, who was uh, what's her name from Jesus. Uh, uh, what's yeah, it's was Arrested, it? Development? Arrested Development? Not Lucille Bluth. Yeah, uh-huh. Lucille Bluth was not Lucille was, Bluth was, was Lucille too. His wife. And and a few other folks that I'm I remember watching it, but it was it wasn't good. It it, it wasn't. It was all the hockey was just footage from the game, of course. Yeah, and then there were like it stitched in parts of like drama and stuff going on. And it, yeah. but I, I'm like, this is great. I love this because it was one of the videotapes. Some my my my, my grandma's like, you're playing hockey now. I record this off TV. Here's a video <laughs> you ruin it. So I knew about the story, and then they came out with a Disneyfied version. I'm like, they're not going to do a bad job. They're going to Disneyfy, and it's going to be great. And mm-hmm. yeah, so I saw it. the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah, I also saw this in the theater. I've only seen it once. Um, nice. Saw it in the theater. Yeah. Well, the movie came out in February, so I would have seen uh-huh. it um, at the theater on campus at Iowa. But like, I really have no recollection of it other than that I saw it once. Like, I had this movie did not stick with me. Um, a couple of moments did, but the movie itself, no, fart in the wind did not did not stick okay. with me at all. Uh, Dana, did it make the grade, or should they pull this back? Still fantastic. So this is like a movie that like, so I used to watch certain movies like going in during preseason to like keep me like focused and energized and like remember the Titans is a big one for me mm-hmm. like Sandlot like certain movies are just like these are my sports films that I watch because I'm playing sports all day um and then this became a movie I watched once I was like in preseason and I'm coaching because I'm like coaching kids for like six hours a day so mm-hmm. this is a movie I watch a lot. I made one of my uh, head coaches had never seen it. We were on spring break coaching kids all day long. And I'm like, you got to watch this movie. Made her watch it. Thought it was fantastic. So I love this movie. And for me, it's an A. I just, I I just, just love it. Actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to deduct some points. I'm going to give it a B plus. Cause we're going to like, there's a whole section of things we're not going to talk about. Cause I don't care. Also the geopolitical parts of it. I'm not talking about those either. Didn't even put them in the notes. Sorry, I don't care. I know it was like a big part of the moment, but I was born yeah. in 1983. I don't fucking know. I don't I know. Say, it's, hard, it's hard to care when you know what happens in the end. It's like, yeah, I, I'm supposed to be afraid of Brezhnev. Like, I'm not. <laughs> like, I don't know. What, it, At the beginning, lost. I'm like, no, I was watching. I'm like, I get it. The 70s were awful. God, <laughs> we needed something to get over that. And they went back. There you go. Like, gas crisis. Oh I, God. Hey, hey, hey. I'm yeah, going to we'll talk, talk about, about it. it. All Mr. Right. Gorbachev, tear down uh, that wall. Era. Christ. <laughs> era. <laughs> ich bin eine Belena. Uh, yeah. Dave, did it make the greater should hold this back? Yeah, it's about as good as it gets, in my opinion. Um, the accents. Wow. Um, I love it when you get people who like are hockey players to make the action look more realistic and they're just mm-hmm. nobodies. And they and yeah. they did a decent job acting too. They weren't great. There were some acting didn't parts. Need to be. Like, they didn't have that much to do. Right. Not that much. There were some moments where they're talking to each other. I'm like, that's kind of, but you know what? The hockey action was good. And at the end, uh, I always, uh, you know, just a little, a little, uh, a little something happens there in my yeah. eye. And uh, okay. I'm like, oh, it's no, you're crying. Shut up. You're crying. You're a little bit of dust Stop in it. both eyes. <laughs> yeah. They wanted it so bad. So oh, bad. Who's cutting America, onions yeah. in here? What and is America so... needed it. It did. America needed it. I will say, sure. like, yeah, of course this made the grade. Um, it was too long by a little bit. Mm, I wish we could have gotten to know the players more because, like, I did not – I could not tell these men apart. <laughs> they were all the same guy to me pretty pretty much. It, but you do have to watch it many accents. times. You yeah, have to watch it many different times. different accents, and I, I know the upper Midwestern guys. I know the Boston guys. And mm-hmm. never the twain shall meet. So, yeah, that's about mm-hmm. it. But – um. Yeah, this is an excellent sports movie. It's really, really good. Um, The action is good. I think that it's long, but the last 40 minutes are just solid. They're a full hockey game. So it's like you can cut some things out before you get to that part, and I don't think you'd miss anything. Um, But it's not like one of these sports movies where it feels super long, and then the big game is like seven minutes long. You're watching a full hockey game. So there is that. Um, Before we get into the recap in the segments, do we have any fun facts on this one? Um, so one that I had, there is a character, uh, not a character, he's a real person. His name is Buzz <laughs> Snyder. Character. Couldn't tell you which one he is. Um, yeah. 
but he was played by his real life son billy snyder um and they didn't know that that's like the guy they cast is the actual guy's kid they found out later because it was like twenty thousand people auditioned for this movie jesus to be the hockey players so that's pretty cool that's a neat Mm -hmm. little thing yeah um there's also the scene which is my favorite scene of this movie i get so amped and it's like it's a weird thing to love but when they do the scene where they're skating back and forth a ton a ton of times which i think the guys actually called herbies in real life (laughs) god um (laughs) he the director actually made the actors do it over three days 12 hours a day because he wanted Mm, director gavin o'connor wanted the moment to be as realistic as possible (laughs) It sounded like they're it, all gonna vomit. They were, they were, they were all gonna vomit. They sounded terrible. So I think they were they all did. dying. Yeah, I would yeah. say you could probably get that with like an hour. <laughs> I don't think you need a full twelve hours to get that tired. Like, yeah, I, I don't. I, I recently, as of like two days ago or three days ago, got a pair of roller skates because my kid has a bike now with training mm. wheels, and he's too fast for me to walk behind. So I got some roller skates. I'm like, oh, you should be really good. It's going to be fine at this. Turns out I'm trash at it. I'm a lot better skates. now than I was a couple of days ago. Yeah, two by twos. So we got two by twos. Yes. Yeah, Sweetness. That's right. Um, but yeah, I, I'm. it's remarkable how sweaty I get after like five minutes <laughs> on my roller skates. Again, because yes. I'm doing way too much work to make them work right. I'm it's 25 sure. pounds on your feet. Yeah. They're, they're heavy they're, as they're, shit. They're not yeah. light. Yeah. These are like a Victorian boot with mm-hmm. with wheels on it. But yeah, you could probably get pretty tired after an hour, maybe two. Twelve hours is too much. Like yeah. that's excessive. I'm sure it's like the cover. It and but if you like watch the scene, which we'll talk about, but like they're not skating that hard. Like in real life, they would have had to really I think they were at first. I think by the yeah, end, yeah. they were just like, I can't stand up anymore. Yeah, yeah, so that I'm sure there are other fun facts. It's just a hard movie to Google facts about because it's also right. <laughs> a real life fucking thing. Yeah. So I was like, there's also a um I thought they might have it on Disney Plus because they're the ones who put it out. There is if you watch the DVD, which I have, and I've watched this many times but forgot to just watch it on DVD uh for this episode. <laughs> um it is like there's like a featurette at the end that like tells yeah. you a lot about the stuff that happened, but like yeah, I don't I don't know. I couldn't find any other anything. I th- anything that I felt was fun. The guys thought it was pretty accurate, except Herb was more of an asshole in real life. Yeah, pretty big dickhead in the movie. Sorry, right. yeah. they had to clean his language up though a lot. Is what the guys oh, were well, saying. Sure. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah, to yeah. find vulgar locker room? It's a hockey locker room. Motherfuckers love to cuss. Well, even just as a coach, they're like Herb was like not nice. They're like we didn't like him. Like he was not like this person at all. But the rest of it was pretty accurate. Okay. Well, at least he died before we had to see it. So there's that. Oh, yeah. So that's not a fun fact, but it is a fact. He died in a car Fuck. crash right as principal oh, photography I didn't know he ended. Was... I yeah. assumed he was sick. And, uh, now it was a car no. crash. Wow. And if he would have if he would have worn a seatbelt, he would have survived. But he didn't. Got to wear a seatbelt, man. That's just the way he lived. Buckle yeah. them shits up. Yep. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, then let's go ahead and get into the recap and the segments here. Uh, Dana, where do you want to get us started? Okay, well, I think we've already, just in our grades, is this the best sports movie ever? Yeah, I think we just no. said yes. So No. <laughs> nope. Uh, I would say it it might be the best team sports movie. I need okay. to, Hoosiers okay. probably fits into that. There, there's some others that are also there's, worth mentioning. There's some comedy ones that I prefer that if, if you gave me a choice, I'd rather watch. I'd rather watch Major Comedies, League. yeah. I would rather sure. watch mm. Bad News Bears. Um there's a few others, but uh, so not the best, but if we're talking about just like a real life sports movie, I'll say, yeah, this is, this See, is probably, the, this is the, probably, probably my favorite, probably the best one of a, a story that really happened. I'll, the I'll, ones that I'll, I I'll put, that. well, the, the really happened part is tough here because I was going to say the three that come to mind for me, oddly enough, I don't watch boxing. These are all boxing movies. Like I think mm. Rocky, Raging Bull and the Hurricane are better than this. Mm. But in terms of like a team sports movie, I don't know that there are any that I would put ahead of this that are like based on a real thing. League of Their Own might that, but that's, I mean, they, it's not Marla Hooch. (laughs) It's not, it's not a What a hitter. (laughs) Right. (laughs) It's not a direct. She's single guys. (laughs) (laughs) Right from clear across town. Um, Mm -hmm. 
so yeah i don't know but i i do think i i couldn't think of a better like real life sports movie for a team sport i don't think gotcha i will say it's pretty rewatchable rocky i don't know if i've ever truly finished watching that film oh it's so good Raging Bull, I think we turned it off because I was like, this is too violent. I don't know. It's, it's very, it really it's, upset me. It's violent. It's a, little, it's a lot of blood flying. Yeah. <laughs> it's violent. The whole, all the stuff with Kathy Moriarty, I was like, I don't know if I can watch domestic violence mm-hmm. for the next that's, three that's hours reasonable. of my life. But I, was I get like, that. I'm not in the mood. It's a different, I, I try to say it was a different time. Like, no, it was wrong then. It's wrong now. <laughs> it's it's wrong. always been wrong. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, think about right. Rocky. The, fir- the second one's better than the first one, I think, uh, personally. Yeah. It is. And I yeah. started when I, I was watching TNT, first time I ever saw it. I'm like, Rocky 2. This is the first movie. Rocky 2. Didn't didn't even know Rocky 1 was, was a thing. And then I saw it. I'm like, this isn't as good. Rocky 2, way better. It is. Is Rocky 2 living in America? Is James Brown in that? No, or is that Rocky 2? That's 3? Rocky 4 living with yeah. Ivan, it's Ivan Drago. That's uh, yeah. the entrance in music Vegas, for yeah. Apollo Creed before he dies. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. He I dies in the ring. It's, it's been yes. out for forever. Okay, let's not talk about Rocky anymore. Okay. <laughs> So uh, we did the opening credits. They're long and they are just to tell you like the se- late 70s and early 80s fucking sucked. Be mm-hmm. glad you didn't like it was just I was like, God, well, Nixon, Ford, Vietnam War, gas Watergate and shit. This, ah, First protests. time ever. The next five years will be worse. Than the previous five. <laughs> previous like, oh, five. Jimmy, Jimmy, come Jesus, on, Jimmy. Jimmy. I want to be like, aren't we living in that now? And I'm like, oh God, this is a pr- that's no, the speech. Yeah, people are like, yeah, it's, yeah. Gonna get, yeah, it's gonna get bad. Yeah, it's gonna get bad. You're real bad. <laughs> you yeah, were that's you're in it. That's fine. But they were just setting this, but that's like they they and I guess I could talk about it. They sprinkle it like throughout the movie where they have to talk about like the gas shortage, troops in Afghanistan, Argo. Um, Argo. they were talking about the, the, the hostage stuff, yeah, the I was hostage like, crisis, yeah. I was like, Argo? Yes, that's Argo. <laughs> yes, that's, the same, the very yes, same. It's Argo. Um, so yeah, so but they're like setting the scene for you, which I'm like, I, I guess I think I, I think if they really want, like, I think they had a tough decision there because they do have to try to get us to believe how important this is, but I also like did not care. Like, I, I just I couldn't. I wasn't getting the sense. It was always like over the radio or stuck. And I'm like, either do it or don't. But I don't know how you do it in a way that really. Do it or don't. There is no try. Exactly. Yeah. Like you're just not, you're not doing it in a way where I'm like really caught up in the geopolitical thing of. There was no reason. America versus Russia. Yeah. Like if, if you are an American, if you were an American that was alive when this movie came out, you remember that we have beef with Russia. It wasn't that mm-hmm. long ago. Yeah. So like, yeah. and I, I could see that if they're thinking long term, maybe they're like, well, if somebody watches this movie in seventy five years, it'll be nice to know what was happening at the time. But I'm like, I don't, I don't need that much explanation that we don't get along with the Soviets very well. I, I yeah. like, kind of comes, you know, priced in with the film. Yeah. And especially because, like, you ultimately come to realize that, like. Herb doesn't care. Like Herb is not paying attention. He has no idea. I think that little voiceover at the end, just being like, "It was an important thing for not only the people who played in the game, but those who watched it." I was like, "Bullshit!" Herb said that. Yeah. Fuck, no, get yeah, the fuck yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah, I don't buy that. He's here to get his second. medal. That's it. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So they there is a lot of history and geopolitical things sprinkled out the film, and it's one of the things we don't need. Um, we can also talk about the other thing that we don't need. Um, and I'm just praising this one sorry patricia clarkson um love you girl love you hate what you have to do in this film hate mm. the role of the, the wife it's a thankless role yeah we don't really need it i think they do it for exposition's sake but like we don't like we don't need it we could have if it was just it. exposition i'd be more okay with it the whole the first time we see her when we're we're leading off with marital strife because he's not around enough and because he did not consult her before taking this job, never comes back. It's not like yeah. oh, by the end of the movie they are divorced because he's never around or anything. Like it's it's completely unnecessary. Yeah, it, it's a t- and I'm just like Patty, you deserve more. You were great in Easy A. This is the second She's time on the great podcast. In I think She's I like her lovely. a lot. Delightful, love you. Yeah, well, that's it. We're done talking about you because I don't. No. I don't need it. I didn't need it. No. Okay, so we're. I'm gonna try to keep this pretty chronological. I forgot what time we started, and I 
to talk about this movie for fucking ever. Yeah. I probably I also like, have no like, idea. Recite whole parts of it. <laughs> so like, I don't want this to go on forever, but I also forgot what time this we started recording. Dave, um, you're in charge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One hour left. <laughs> okay. okay. Um. So. I for, I truly forget what actually brings it, but like we have all the geopolitical shit. It's the coach from air up there. Oh yeah, and then we're at the U.S. Olympic training headquarters or something, and Herb's interviewing for the job. He's trying to explain why he wants it, what he thinks he needs to do. Um, the committee seems pretty dismissive, which is a little annoying. Um, uh, but um, he tries to say like kids. Well, we'll talk about his philosophy later, but like. He thinks they can win. He talks shit about all-star teams because he's like, well, you know, our all-star team got our asses whooped. And he's like, well, of course they do because they're made up of individuals and I Mm -hmm. want to create a team. 100% correct. 100%. You can't just get a bunch of great players together. together. No, we've we've been failing for the last 20 years. You want to do something different? Mm -hmm. Herb? (laughs) Dumb? You think? Essentially. Yeah. You can. Yeah, it's like basically your strategy is to have a strategy, not to just put the best players on the ice. Yeah. You go out like, there and basically... wing it, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It's the Everybody best goes, players in history. Just go out and play hero ball when these Russians uh, are like playing for their lives. You can't compete with that. You can't compete Probably with that. literally. Like, yes. I would assume some of them did not make it home. Uh, yes. I saw I saw the sadness in their faces at the end. I'm like, they're, they're, <laughs> yes. they're going to, as soon as they got off the plane. It's like it was soccer or soccer. football. Yeah, well, football. Well, that was that was drugs, but, but yeah, football. this it was it was like um it was a mixture of like sadness and desperation. A little bit like I wonder if I can just sneak away and stay here and just like blend in forever. Yeah, yeah, I felt bad for yeah. them. Yeah, because it's def- it's definitely like I'm sure it's not great, but I'm sure they have a better lifestyle because they're on the team. Like they get mm-hmm. more. Oh, it, it, I don't honestly, know. Sorry, it, it probably is great because I mean, anytime you have a communist country, you've got massive corruption going to like seven people. So, like, probably they were living pretty large. Let's hope so. So, yeah. So, you, it's really hard so. to compete against. <laughs> it's hard to compete against that. And Herb's just gonna be like, "It's all about the tactics we take. It's about good coaching." And they're like, "Nah." But somehow, the hell he that gets mean? the job. Yeah, he gets the job anyway, even though they're super rude. He tries to shake people's hands. They don't really want to, like, it's it's very, they're very dismissive of him. But mm-hmm. he gets the job anyway. Really unclear why. Because all they show us is them being incredibly rude to him. We don't see their deliberations. He just gets a phone call later. It's your job. Mm-hmm. Well, it's unclear why he got the job and also unclear um, why he was such a long shot. He had just won a, a championship that year. <laughs> Like he had three it, at the time. Yeah, he had three it, national so he's, championships. He's essentially Nick Saban interviewing to be like the Olympic mm-hmm. football coach. You're like, get the fuck out of here, please. Yeah. <laughs> like coach K. Here. He's good at this. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if nobody else wanted the job. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Could be. Yeah, a hundred percent. To like get your ass kicked off, by the Russians. Yeah, yeah, take off time from my current job, which is obviously what right. I don't think Coach K does that when he coaches the like, Olympic. Didn't have team. to. It's summertime, and if there's no and there's no college what? basketball uh, in the summer. That's right. And in the in the uh, yeah, and not just the Russians. You're gonna get your ass kicked by the Czechs, by the mm-hmm. Romanians, by probably the, the entire Finns. Eastern Bloc and the Finns, the Swedes, the, Finns, the Swedes. Oh. So yeah, that, West, that sounds West awful. Germany. Do we say? That? I'm sure we'll. I, I, I'm sure <laughs> Mexico we'll, I'm sure is we'll gonna give us a hell of a game. I'm sure that we'll that, 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 that we'll talk about their draw later. The teams they that's, had to play. That's tough. That's Mother of God. <laughs> How That's they made it that West game. Germany was in there. Like, oh, you guys! Oh, I was like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wall we were taking down. Okay, yeah, the good Germany. Um, I always was in forget. There. Yeah, I always forget that there was like East and West. But then you'll know, like something like this or Atomic Blonde. And you're like, ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh huh. Okay, uh-huh. so he gets the job. Probably process of elimination. Nobody else fucking wanted it. But it's also like they had to train. I guess now we just do dream teams, and it is hero ball. So you're not training for six or seven months prior. So yeah. maybe that's why it was different then. Um, so then he gets the job. Very excited. We have to have tryouts. They bring so many guys to wherever. I forgot to write it down. Colorado Springs. Um, oh, it is Colorado Springs. That's what I thought. Okay. Yep. Um, we get to see that there's 
a lot Thumbs of... Thumbs up from Dana. Sorry, I know. <laughs> Stupid fucking Zoom thing. Um, there's blood, <laughs> blood between these guys because it's a lot of... And we'll get to it later. But it's a lot of Minnesota versus Boston. I guess two big hockey meccas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Midwest, East Coast. It, for for um, college, absolutely. Have yeah, it. Boston University, did... Boston College, University of Minnesota, mm-hmm. University of Minnesota, Duluth, University of North yeah. Dakota. All these fucking places are... Minnesota, Mankato. Hockey schools. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, gophers, and, and, gophers yeah. and hawks and bulldogs and all there these was a, There was a there was a North Dakota Sioux on one of those teams. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. Um, <laughs> so you you basically like we're we're starting to see that like the grudges. There's some pettiness, but one thing they show you really quickly because I do want you to like see these tryouts is that this hockey is going to be legit. We didn't hire actors. We hired skaters. So That's like right. they are letting us know. Don't expect a lot. They're going to be on. Watch them skate. <laughs> Watch them skate. <laughs> there you go. Um, Let them go. The whole trout is planned for a week. They brought in all these guides. Herb's like, I got my 26. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, no, no, I got I'm good. I'm good. Um, we're done here. <laughs> yeah, we're done here. Pack it up. Um, so he's there. Uh, person he's talking to is coach craig patrick aka stan beeman from the americans stan that is a show that taught me about the american russian conflict and that they got it right to me mm-hmm. to understand what's going on in this <laughs> they i was it. like oh. oh okay the fbi guy stan beeman's in this he's doing his oh. research before he goes to do the americans <laughs> um so and he's like but like they have a whole week you haven't looked at everybody and he's just like craig not looking for the best guys i'm looking for the right ones mm. and that's my minnesota accent thank you very much oh. um <laughs> for a second i thought scottish <laughs> um dana i will he... handle the minnesota accent oh, i'm not at pretty good <laughs> but he's not looking for the best he's looking for the right ones and he has to say that to uh the coach the coach who i don't believe is a coach from the era <laughs> there walter he says the same mm-hmm. thing to Walter. He's like, I've been watching tape. I've been calling their coaches. I know who I need. I know who I want. It's not the best. It's the right ones for what I am trying to achieve. Yep. Um, the next, We get to, thankfully, Coach Dan Beeman says the 26 names. So we get to see the names with the faces. But mm-hmm. if you really want to see, they all have the you got to watch face. this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of white boys. Um, they'll later the they same haircut. About. We had such a team of such diverse backgrounds. I was like, motherfuckers, a bunch of white boys. What? Yeah, it was it was what? a bunch of white okay. dudes from either Minnesota or Minneapolis or St. Paul. <laughs> there was your yeah. diversity. Um, but again, if you've seen the movie as many times as I have, you're starting to get the names. You only got to care about Aruzioni, the yeah. McClanahan O'Callahan's, uh-huh. Jim Craig, because he's played by a real actor, Tag from yeah. Friends. Yeah. Um, the Coneheads, kind of somebody named Johnson, and that's really it. Um, and the Simondos in home. <laughs> we got attached yeah. to him. They said, fuck home. No, so that's Coxie. You do get attached to him and he goes home. When I watched this uh, this week, I was like, oh my god, it's Chad Powers. This is where they got the idea. Why are you looking at me? You know who Chad Powers is? I know Kenny Powers. Hmm? Oh my god, it's Eli Manning when he goes up and tries to be a walk on Oh and god, okay. I forgot that was his name. I was like, Kenny yeah. Powers? Scream Mask? The Mask from I, Scream? He ran like a 7 eight forty at that thing too, which was great. Yeah. Now that you th- now that you okay. actually look like Chad Powers, he, that he did. Of our the mustache, mustache. longer hair. <laughs> you're, you're right. I wanted to play oh, hockey. I forgot he was Chad Powers. <laughs> okay. Kick it, sling it, <laughs> sling the pill. When he gets cut, I was like, "That's Chad Powers." Um. So basically, the committee's not happy, but Herb's like, "Let you gotta let me do. You hired me to do a job. Let me do my job." Um. And then uh, Herb asked all, all the guys to take like a psych eval, which was interesting, I feel like, in 1979. But okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Good for him. Um, the boys are all at the bar doing it. We're, we're getting a lot of Minnesota versus Boston. Um, we we hear, we learn that Boston beat Minnesota, no, Minnesota beat Boston, which cost a lot of guys a championship. And it's like, why did you want to play college hockey? there you go <laughs> now the, the, the first time lady. the first time he says like why'd you want to play college hockey I'm like, I, I'm yeah. like, why'd you want to play college hockey I'm like, oh, that's 
<laughs> the first one wasn't good enough, but that second one was yeah, diving Joe Quimby over here. No, because he, he just and and Cox is just like I just wanted to play hockey and yeah. wanted to get in the fun. NHL or some shit. <laughs> right. I want to win an NCAA championship. Like, all right, cool, great. Yeah, well, you didn't so. Yeah, Tough break. sorry, man. Um, Tough. When he, yeah, when he says it the second time, I literally wrote in my notes, "Why do you want to play college hawk?" H O H I K E Y. It's a lot, hawky. It is a lot. It comes back later. He, I think a similar thing, like later on, they're all like saying where they're from, or like introduce yourself, uh, say where you're from, and what, who do you play for, and this. You know, it's a theme. Um, so like they're all like, I'm so and so from such and such, and I played for Boston or Minnesota. And Coxie goes, I just want to play here. I played for he's like, I played for whatever won't get me hit. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. He played he played for the University of New Hampshire, by the way. University of the UNH. Okay. Uh what Wildcats, right? I doubt it. They have a fun, they have a fun hockey, a fun hockey tradition there. Uh they they throw Big ass fish onto the ice when they win a big game, like, oh, like a twenty pound the, uh, trout or whatever. Squid, twenty pound trout. It's like the yeah. old octopus squid? and octopus. Wildcats. But... It is the wildcats. No, Why are they, they the wildcats fit... in New Hampshire? Because they're a generic college. But yeah, no, I've I've done a couple of graphics for them about throwing fish onto the ice. Oh, that's a bit. Yeah. Well, that's where Coxie's from, Chad Powers. Um, so yeah, so just there's we we see some of that animosity in this. Uh, so the next part is practice. We're talking about. Practice. And practice. we are <laughs> about practice, <laughs> not the game. Practice. Not a game. Not, <laughs> not a the game. game that I spent my whole life getting ready for. But practice. Practice. It just um, it makes me laugh. It's not practice. It's practice. It makes me laugh every time. I now hear it as Kevin Hart because now it's on like a fucking Chase <laughs> City is. Card commercial or whatever. It um, is. I think it's like the credit card I have, and I'm like, God, I just shred it. <laughs> um, but basically, like the whole philosophy of the practice, a lot of it is like the lead. The legs feed the wolf, gentlemen. Because hmm. if you got to be the best conditioned team, I have literally done this as a coach. This is why it's also near and dear in my heart. He's like, we can't be the best team. You're going to be the most conditioned team or the best conditioned team. I had a team where we had a very good team, but we only had 13 kids. You put 11 people on the field. So I was like, we're going to run Jesus. and we're going to be fit because I don't have subs. So. 70 minutes, ladies. Let's learn how to play when we're exhausted. So that felt felt very near and dear to my heart. Um, same. same. I was on a football team that was also a track team. So totally get it. We did a shitload like, of running. They would get so mad at me. I'm like, we got a we got a long season and I don't have any subs. Barely have a JV. Get on the line. So like, <laughs> get sorry, gals. Line. <laughs> sorry. Um, so there's a lot of like showing strategy. You know anything that they do in movies, which I just shoot it from another fucking angle, but the see-through chalkboard? Absolutely not. I hate it. Absolutely not. You can't. Mm. I, don't, I have I no can't. idea what the fuck I'm looking at. And I'm imagining being on the other side trying to read that. I'm like, I can't. I don't know what you're writing. I can't see yeah. any of this shit. There's a background behind you. Yeah, and that's like the point. Like They also want to show that the guys like aren't picking up on it, and I want to be like, yeah, they're not picking up on it because no the shit. chalkboard's fucking clear. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I can't right. see anything. It's it's but, random lines floating in space with a glare on top of them. Great. Yeah, it's it's awful. I fucking hate it. Um, but uh, Herb's whole philosophy is everybody else tries to like play their own style. The Russians play like a very like, I think it was like a triangle pass. When he said triangle, I was like, what? Phil? Yeah, Phil? He was what? saying Phil that Jackson? the forwards the forwards are always circling around. Yeah, and then they don't and they, they don't pass it to a man. They pass it to like pass a, it space. To a space. Yeah. Which is just good passing. I'm sorry. That's what you do. What, you don't pass it to where your team it is. You pass it where it wanted to be. Yeah. Correct. What you've described as soccer. You kick yeah. it to a space and have the guy run into that space. Forward passes yeah. to center. Back to forward. <laughs> forward to midfield. Midfield yeah. back to forward. Holds it. Holds it. Yeah. Bariaga. Bariaga too. Ariaga. Aruglia. And Pizzozza. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a there was a joke what was it, it was what mexico versus portugal and there was a simpsons episode where it was like the superstars oh, okay. of soccer and they were going through names and it was like the same dude's face over and over again with different last names associated with it it was very good mm-hmm. gotcha um but yeah it's not fucking rocket science that's how i was always yell at my kids don't pass where your team it is pass from where you wanted to be pass it to the open whatever maybe it was rocket science back in Regular 1979 Augie. i don't know apparently it's just I don't know. Um, but that's what a lot of it is. And like, it doesn't seem like the guys get it, but these dudes called the Coneheads get it when they're like trippy. Because again, 
who when this movie came out in 2004 who even remembered the coneheads I barely no, I did because there was a really was... bad movie. Yeah. <gasps> it, it was still a back. decade on. The Code Heads movie is yeah. great. Yeah, I haven't I seen the movie I'm... in a very long time. Oh, it's know. good. It holds up. France. Good. We come from France. I'm like, yeah, it's, that's that's funny stuff. That's fu- you will. Donald, Marvel, oh, Donald, Donald, Donald R. DiCicco. That's not your that's name. Donald right. DiCicco. No, no. He he buys his fake identity, then becomes Beldar Conehead. Yeah. And no one asks any questions. <laughs> God, no, I, That's the Coneheads to me, That's that I like that movie a lot. I was confused by how they became the Conehead lineup. Because he was, I know what the Coneheads are. I know what those guys are. I don't know what the association between them is. I think it's just because, like, they're, like, they're, like, mind-melded. They're, like, finishing each oh, other's okay. thoughts and sentences. They're the only ones who picked it up. Like, they just have, like, an intrinsic understanding of one another. And I guess at the, okay. at the time, maybe it made sense. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes it. I was just, like, because I heard him say, oh, it's Dan Aykroyd and Jane Curtin. And I'm, like, so what's that got to with those dudes? <laughs> I'm confused by that part. Correct. But, okay. I, I, didn't I guess no they idea. do seem to be on, on their own wavelength. That's yeah, fair. they're on their own. They're from another planet. They're. Yeah. Um, they get each other. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's that. Like, the guys are, like, he didn't give us nicknames. So I don't. <laughs> he was an asshole. Of course, he didn't give us a nickname. Yeah. I was like, I don't. But it's also like that doesn't sound like the nickname he gave you guys. It sounds like the nickname everybody else gave you. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Um. So we got a lot of practice. Oh, one thing I forgot to talk about. We have to talk about Jim Craig because he has a whole storyline where he doesn't take the test, and then Herb is like, Jim Craig is the uh, goalie for those who are not in the know mm-hmm. and don't mm-hmm. know these guys. <laughs> don't recognize them on site <laughs> as intrinsically as I do. Sorry, I just sneezed off my sure but then I was really grossed out by it. <laughs> I am disgusted. <laughs> um, but there's like a whole thing with him where like and this I guess with a lot of guys, they're surprised about the people that actually showed up and the guys who came because a lot of them, maybe some of them could have been pro, some of them might have lost like signing bonuses or like Hey, like Jim's one of those guys where his family could have really used for him to go pro because his mom's passed away. His dad's not doing super well. Like they could use the money. But Jim is there because it was like his mom's dream. Um, But he's like one of the few who doesn't take the test. And Herb is like, well, that tells me everybody. I don't need you to take the test because you just took it or whatever the fuck it. You just took it. But, yeah, um, and uh, everybody says like his game's not what it used to be since his mom died, which is like fair. Like his mom yeah. died. I don't know he's how long. They don't tell us. Twenty. He's young. Yeah. He's not like a forty-year-old yeah. veteran. We do learn that the yeah. average age of the U.S. team is twenty-one. So I'm like, did yeah. some of these guys like forego a season of el- eligibility? Like I should, I could have done this research, but I didn't. Um, I don't. No, because no. Uh, well, I mean, I guess probably, I guess you could come out early into the NHL because they have like the whole junior system too. If you're mm-hmm. a Canadian, you don't play in college, you play in the juniors. Um, but I mean, college juniors and seniors, I would guess. But yeah, I get, but I just feel like it, some of these guys, like if some of these guys are complaining about that they lost the championship and could have been drafted, it means to me, it sounded like a lot of those oh, guys weren't in college anymore. But if the fair. average age is 21, I wonder if some people were like, hey, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm going to go do this. I'll come back for a year of eligibility or maybe I'll do so that well. Could like, be. I could have done that research. I don't really. I was like, yeah, that's a low age. It. Yeah, was whatever. You know who won't um, care is our listeners. Yeah. That's right. um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff with with Jim Craig, who rock star in the end. What a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so good. So good. The real actor, uh, Eddie Cahill, never played ice hockey, but what did play lacrosse. So he was oh. like a lacrosse goalie. So that's where he okay. like was able to translate some of the skills there. Feels similar. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm trying to think pass, shoot, score was something the Conehead said. Um, Craig thinks he's pushing them too hard because they're skating a lot. They're very sore. You run like you got to put in work. If you're going to be the best condition team, you also there's like a couple you like you practice where we used to do it where you do some of your drills you go run really hard you come back to those drills and you better do it as well as you did at the beginning or at the end as you did in the beginning or i'd make my girls get like super fucking tired and then we're gonna go do drills and if i see you dragging ass or not doing it doing it well guess what we're going back to running you know like it would like so you had to let me ask you because I, I have a couple of examples but did you have like a go-to really punishing conditioning thing you had them do um, 
like my like philosophy like over the time changed because I was pretty close with our like cross country track coach and he's like it doesn't really make sense to like have them run whilst not doing your sport so like a lot of times it would be like Mm. really hard stuff like a lot of running whilst playing field hockey or like a a big one that we used to do all the time even in college which really fucking sucked is you would play small-sided games but at any point like coach could blow the whistle and you had to haul ass to your end line and come back and Mm. like try not to lose advantage or like lose the so like it would be a lot of like okay you're scrimmaging but now i'm blowing the whistle and i need you to sprint to like the other side of the field and get back and like you can't leave your goal empty because then you'll lose so it was like Mm. weird shit like that we had uh we did a stadium mile one time which was i mean the the stadium at Nequa is not huge but it's big enough we had you know pretty big student body so the stadium yeah. mile was you run you know a four laps around the track but when you get to the stadium you get to the stands up and down like each up and down pathway so like you know maybe eight or 12 of those or whatever so up and down 30 40 steps eight or 12 mm-hmm. times per lap so that was Damn. horrifying and then the yeah. visitor stands as well which are smaller but like you're still it's that was awful and then we had a they called it the gauntlet which was a regular conditioning thing where you had like a tackling dummy every like 10 yards 20 yards apart or whatever for maybe like 30 yards so you're running zigzags tackling and that's it we had one one time we got in trouble for something and we had it the full width of the field so 33 and a third yards with the tackling dummy every five yards it's like a 20 minute sprint you're just and that was we fucked up bad like i don't know what we did yeah. but that reminded me of him making them do this over and over i'm just like people are dying man like we yeah. lost several players yeah i'm trying to like you don't like they now call them like champion makers but i tried to like uh no. suicides are... they don't call it that anymore yeah they don't call them that anymore <laughs> but probably like... shouldn't call it that anymore we used to do one where like some kids loved it a lot of kids hated it but like it's a lot of times you have to simulate like um running hard jogging walking and like constant changes so i'd put us on the track and like each like the track there'd be cones on the track and they were color coded and it's like when you hit this color you're sprinting as hard as you can you hit that color you like yellow meant like go to a jog and then I put like another green meant sprint and like put those and you were running, you're doing it on the track until oh, I told you to stop. Fuck <laughs> and that, it was Dana. like constantly changing <laughs> and you could go slow and then you, and it was like, I'm watching and I know how fast you guys are, but it needed to like simulate what a hockey game is <sighs> where you're, you're hauling ass trotting and like, it was like on the track up and down, up and down. And like, no. I came up with fun, fun, fun training things. But yeah, we used so to that's... run fart licks, and that was bad enough. But no, all this suck. random ups and yeah, fucking terrible. They go on forever. You're just yeah. running all day. <laughs> fart licks. But the, like, but so we used to do <laughs> yeah, this too. But I remember lick. in high school, if you went like far, far enough away from coach, it could look like you're moving. So I'm like, I took that concept and put it on a track because I'm like, I know the distance of a track. <laughs> I've seen you guys do sprints. I know how long it should take you. Like oh we would do God. ladders, like sprint lad, whatever. Anyway, it's beside the point. Uh, back back um, to the film. We can, we'll talk about this film. off. Back now. to the film. But um, where were we? Talking about the Coneheads. Uh, practice. Oh, Herb. Uh, Coach Craig says he's pushing him too hard, and um, Herb is like, no, that's why they took the test. I took the test to know how hard I can push him, and I know I can push him this hard, and like that's part of it. Um, I thought he was going to quit also, his job for a minute there. I, I yeah. legit thought he was going to like throw the whistle down and walk out. Well, we're not there yet. We're not there oh, I'm yet. sorry. I'm just talking about leading up to that. <laughs> I apologize, um, Coach Coach Dan Beeman um, is just also expressing. I think we're I think we're going too hard. But you also see like people are leaving. They're like tearing names off the locker room because they have 26, but they got to get down to 20. So sometimes you do it. I'm going to break people to know who can't take it because I don't want to find out at the end. I need to find out up front if you're not mm-hmm. if you're not if you can't handle this um so that's why they took the test um they get to go to europe for the first time Uh, i was calling it uh the european vacation so national lampoons uh Mm -hmm. the national olympic committee's european vacation (laughs) european vacation too much Uh (laughs) Uh 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 Um, so they're playing norway um and i think it's like a three three tie but the guys are like checking out girls in the stands not paying attention it's norway like no shit if you're been, into a seven foot tall blonde lady, they got them everywhere. Like, wow. Fair. Wow. But 
Herb isn't having it. They're like, we, they tie Nori, which I guess I didn't know Nori wasn't good at hockey. Um, it's surprising. <laughs> you would yeah, think. Like, the Finns cold. are very good. They're right there. Yeah. yeah. Hold up there. You should skate all the time. Huh. Um, but they tie. Herb is pissed because the guys are distracted, treating it like it is a European vacation. And then it comes what I think is one of the greatest scenes in sport sports scenes ever i love it i don't know why but i just love it so uh after the game they're trying to skate off and herb comes out and is like no 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 on the line what they're like, what the fuck what are we what are we doing beeman get a whistle it's not his name in the movie it's craig um <laughs> i love the norwegian fans being like the fuck like, are they what doing the what the fuck is this um <laughs> We used to do that. Like, if we like lost, we would we had to do sprints some, sometimes in college. But uh, we won, we would do like a victory lap, which I was like rude, but I love lead it. Me out of it. I love it. It was a slow jog, slow trot, slow trot. Oh, yeah, we never we did won. anything after a game. Love it, <laughs> love it. Um, gets them on the line, and they're like, "What is happening?" They're doing herbies, which I think is the ice hockey version of a champion maker. So it's the certain lines and back, but we never like see them do all of like, it. Blue line to blue line, I think. Yeah, so they're they're doing hockey sprints, skating sprints, and Stan just fucking like or Herb just is berating them. He's like, "You think you you want? I, I should have given you the lines because I don't have a Minnesotan accent, but <laughs> you think you can win on talent alone, gentlemen? You don't have you don't have the talent to win on talent alone." They come back. I, to I can line. I can do the next couple of quotes <laughs> if you want me to do those. Sure. And then he's like, the, he does it once and he goes, he's not blowing the whistle. He, and that's the thing I think is so diabolical. He makes their friend, Coach Dan Beat, blow the whistle. Mm -hmm. So the players they, coach. Do it, they do it once and he goes, again. Mm -hmm. And then would you like to do the next line? Okay. The name on the front is a hell of a lot more important than the one on the back. My Minnesota Again. accent is always kind, so I can't do a mean one. You're not doing it right. I'd rather say mean. Um, I can't do a mean Minnesota. I'm not sure what that sounds okay. like. Again. They're always Again. very kind. So he, not Herb. Herb was, Herb was berating them. And he says a lot more, but these are some of the ones that stuck out to me. And it's like, again, again, we're watching the guys skate back and forth. And at one point, like, um, Doc comes over and it's like, hey, um, the rink manager wants to clean the ice and go he home. He wants to go he's home. Like, he called you. Don't leave uh, the cleans. He, he called you a piece, of, a piece of shit and an asshole for keeping him <laughs> too far after, because you, you're a real asshole. Yes. He he mentioned a gun. Uh, <laughs> I'll be like, out of here. Shit. And he just made the, the clicking keys. noise and pointed it at me. It's it's just not. It's not good. <laughs> and then he's like, again. So they keep going, and uh, at one point, the rink manager turns the lights off, so the guy starts screaming. He's like, where the where do you think you're going? Get back on the line. You, you right. can't skate in the dark. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> it becomes physically impossible to skate in the dark. It That's seems so really it's dangerous. Dark. There's emergency oh, light. There's a, there's some hues. It's not completely dark. <laughs> it's, um, it's a full moon outside, so some of that. Yeah. It's like, this cannot be a team of common men because common men go nowhere. You have to be uncommon. You have to be like, uncommon. No, that is not how Herb talks. I it's won't the allow only it. way I could do it, apparently. Again. Um, again. <laughs> and just screams, again. We truly have no idea how long this actually went on. But, like, mm. Coach Dan Beeman's like, I don't want to blow the whistle. Herb, it's be it's too much. I said again. Mm. And then even Doc is like, Herb, we must stop the madness. Just stop. And they're, like, puking. And they're, like, Falling oh, down. Falling down. Laying on the ice. Again. And then... I I I feel like it's unprompted, but I think it is because he doesn't ask anybody else this. Or I don't think he asked anybody. But finally, finally, as they're all alive, as they're better, <laughs> we get. <laughs> Who do you play for? Awesome, Massachusetts. Sorry, Boston, Winthrop, Massachusetts, Winthrop, right. Ma Winthrop, Winthrop, Massachusetts. Winthrop, Mass. I play for the United States of America. That's all, all right. That's all, that's all Jim. Because oh, he would ask him that question so earlier, and and they'd be yeah. like, "Oh, I, I play for. I'm, I, still play for yeah. I still play for. I still play for my college. I play college, for college hockey. Yeah, I played college hockey. And he's like, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna break in until you fucking love America so much that yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you forget about America. college.'" 
I'm going to break your brain so much. Everything you learn in college, gone. It's America. Lost it all. America now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what happens. Apparently in real life, that's not what happened. Uh-oh. <laughs> One of the guys was just like broke his stick or like freaked, like freaked <laughs> out, or like <laughs> lost it. And they were like, okay, we should. All right, man. Shit. It. Okay. okay. I would have rather had that happen. <laughs> that would have been a lot right? better. And I was like, oh, that's not as exciting. But okay. And yeah, just just have a dude okay. go full blown insane. Yeah, like <laughs> we'll, we'll like, go home. Like, it's fine. It's that's you've that's had it. That's what IMDb said. So yeah. Um. So we have that great moment, which is like, oh, this is this is oh, they're becoming a team. They're getting it. They're getting it. Um. Uh. How many hours they did that? I don't know. What do you think? At least two. Maybe. It 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 feels like it was probably a couple. <laughs> Like yeah. it feels like it was a couple of hours, like, and that is not easy on the legs. No, they would not be easy on probably your back. Disgusting. All of <laughs> Everything's it. Gonna You're hurt. cold. I feel like maybe not them. I feel like if I'm sitting yeah, there, it's probably pretty hot. Waiting to blow a whistle. It's probably cold. Um, so that happened. Um, we also learned through like radio or whatever that the NHL All Stars plays the Soviets and get their asses whooped six nothing. Um, shit because... it's, it's, the way that the radio presented was like oh it was like the Harlem Globetrotters they were just like <laughs> humiliated out there. like yeah. the Soviets were better at every aspect of the game and I'm like oh Jesus yeah so then we get some film study of the Russians the guys are like if you score on that goalie keep the puck because it doesn't happen often that mm-hmm. footage was terrifying I don't yeah. play yeah. hockey I don't know how to ice skate I'm like that looks like a ninja is what that it looks rem- like to me it reminded me of do you guys see Blades of Glory no <laughs> actively no you didn't see that okay no. uh that was napoleon dynamite and will ferrell as figure skaters do i yes. recall no okay there is I, a scene I, where, the movie. I didn't see they, it though. they like watch old footage of, of 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 this old band russian like move that like a blade needs to come right by your neck to, uh-huh. to make the move work and and there was like old footage that kind of looked like this it was like grayish <laughs> kind of brownish old footage and uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the the blade cut off the, oh the skater's head. And oh so, but that's what as I was like, you know what? That, that was that was funny for some reason in, in that movie. Watching old I was, Russian, I was head. fascinated by his ability to do what he was doing. I'm like, I'm not sure how you how you learn how to do that, but Jesus Christ, yeah. fast as shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was impressive. Um, he's like their main weapon is intimidation. They know they're gonna win, and so do their opponents. Um, Herb's like basically he's like, I'm not gonna smoke blow smoke up your ass. We're not gonna be better than those dudes but, are way better than you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um you like don't defend or attack, you have to use their game against them, and then we cut mm-hmm. to a practice montage. Guys are dropping out. Uh let's see, we find about uh the Argo situation. I know that's not what it is. It's the hostage situation in Iran. <laughs> yeah. This is before the, the Argo embassy. Party. Yes, yes, yes. Four hundred and thirty-four yes. days those people were stuck in. So Thanks, long. Reagan. There, I said it. So sad. Everyone knows. I'm pretty sure I'm Carter. Pretty oh, Carter was president. Reagan Carter. had a Reagan had a backdoor deal with the Iranians not to release them until after the election. Because it was hurting Carter, so he was working oh. with the Iranians to keep them held hostage. Damn. This is a thing that happened in our history. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think like I heard about that recently. God damn, mm-hmm. piece of shit. Eating piece jelly of shit. beans. And right. He's the gipper. <laughs> jelly beans, um, son of a bitch. He's, he's the gipper. Come on. Oh, um, we'll talk about his wife off mic too. I have a story about oh, that. No. Oh, no. The throat goat. I th- Dave, I'm sure you know it. <laughs> the throat goat. Oh, That's right, the throat goat. <laughs> yeah. There was something I was watching recently that was talking about. Okay, anyway. No, it comes up so movie. often. Like, it really really, everyone does. just knows this about her. It like, this really, is just, it is oh, wild. Man. Everyone knew. Anyway, okay. Uh, so, um, let's see. I don't know. Oh, they're bringing in a new guy. Everybody seems pretty surprised. I think he's a guy who played for her. So this is where I'm like, some of these guys must have taken time off college because like this guy was like currently playing at Minnesota and it was like the top yeah. player in uh the ncaa and her brings him in um and the guys are like really pissed about it because he hasn't been there for the months hasn't gone through all the bullshit blah 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 they take herb aside and they're like you can't have this guy around because he's also scoring goals which i think is meant to be a ruzioni's role on yeah the team. he keeps on telling him like if you don't fucking score get the fuck out of here um yeah. 
There was I think he does like it to this... get under his skin. I do think yeah. it was also he wants to see how the guys will react. So her plays a lot of fucking mind games, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think you yeah, can do that was... with girls. You can do that with uh, guys, though. You, you probably shouldn't do it with anybody. No. <laughs> just, but... just be upfront with someone. Right? That was um... my style. Yeah, there was there was something else with this guy that I just thought, and I, uh, I forgot what it was. There was something else with him where they, oh, I think he tried out is what they said, right? I think it sounded like they were like, oh, he tried oh, out yeah. and didn't make the cut six months ago. Mm-hmm. And he's yes. like, well, you think he's not been playing since then? Like he's having a hot season or whatever. But no, not here, not with us. <laughs> uh, I lost uh, it. Coach, um, coach, he has not been here with us, coach. No, it's oh, the Boston right? guys. It's the Boston guys. I know, that but that, that, I'm sure the Minnesota guys are mad too. Okay. Yeah. But um, it's like it's a lot of it's a tactic. He's like, if you don't find the gold, Rizzo, you ain't going nowhere. You're but, going home. But but, um, but, but, but we're, 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 we're family. Yeah, and then we're family, they pulled aside family, and they're like, family. he can't. It just it's not fair. It's not it's right. Just not, and it's, it's just, just like, not fair. Oh, it's not fair. Oh my god. Because we're a family, you know. So like that that okay, fine, guys. I'm, I'll send them home. And it's like mm-hmm. he seems annoyed, but it's also like, eh, I guess that's what I wanted. Um, the guys are really bonding. Um, there's a Christmas scene which the guys are like, that didn't fucking happen. Herb didn't hang out with us, so we're gonna skip over it. It seemed um, odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to cut Chad Powers. Uh, it's not great. Uh, you know, it's it's a bummer. I thought um, he would come back. He never came back. Yeah, there's a chance. Oh, there's like a slight, and this is where you know, like it's a. Yes, we all know what actually fucking happens in this movie. Like we all know how it ends. Spoiler but there are just moments where they're like. Oh, well, whoever is the president of Russia at the time is like, well, if you guys keep doing X, Y, and Z, we're not going to come to Placid because you guys were talking about boycotted Moscow. So it seems like we might mm-hmm. not get to play um, the Russians, which I think happens to the LA games. Isn't that like we yeah. showed they, it? Yeah. Yeah. We, the, they did not come to LA. Was that the 84 LA? 84, Olympics? yeah. Yeah, 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 we were winning all the medals. Well, the steroids were wild with our track team, but yeah, <laughs> we, that track team was insane. Ooh, Ooh. okay. There's a whole, there's a whole thirty for thirty either. about it. Oh, I'll have to look for that. <laughs> um, so, uh, but they do obviously. Everybody shows up. Um, they play Russia before the Olympics. Three days before Lake Placid starts, they lose ten three. Herb is like, I think again, this is a tactic to get under Jin's skin. He's like, Jim, I'm pulling you for Janowitz or whatever the heck the guy's name is. Yeah. And he goes, Janicek. Janicek. He's like, what? That's my net. And he's like, right now it's everybody's net. Bird. Um, Bars. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> um, he doesn't believe Jim is giving his all. And he's like, you want me to take the test? I'll take the test. <laughs> he's like, I want the guy who didn't take the test. He goes like, so well. So that's um, that's how we get Jim amped up, I guess. I, I wish I wish our listeners could physically see you act this out. This is this is a Sebastian Manis Calco level energy of performance you're giving here. Just mm. I finally saw that guy in Unfrosted. Anybody else watch that movie? No, I heard it was bad. <laughs> I, I like his stand up. His stand up is great. I don't know why we made that movie Unfrosted. I truly don't know. Oh God, so many questions we could talk about. Money yeah. laundering. Probably. Melissa McCartney, delightful as always. Jim Gaffigan is a better actor than that. Mm. Jerry Seinfeld was there. Um, He's become okay. a miserable son of a bitch, yeah. Oh, God, what a piece of shit. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so then we get to the Olympics. Um, I really, Lake Placid, is that the movie with the alligator? Isn't there mm-hmm. a movie called? Yeah, so and Betty not White. that. Yeah, and yeah, Betty, yeah. Betty White's pet alligator to these people. So not oh, that Lake Placid. Yeah. Where the Olympics, right? <laughs> Um, the Olympics oh, are finally great. here. We've been waiting for this for months. And we mentioned earlier that it was like a bummer we didn't really get to know the players. I think it's because they are not good actors. They are good skating peoples. Yeah. But I think it's a... I really hope one day we get a movie about the Olympics where we get to see how crazy the Olympic Village is because people be fucking. I mean, I'm we certain we experience any of that. There's definitely Olympic theme porno somewhere because the way that. that they talk about it just sounds like there oh is. my god, it's like there you is. don't sleep, you just fuck all day long, and anybody you want from all over the world, it just sounds like, insane. Everyone's got I'm six sure, packs. 
Yeah, I'm sure like the these guys were like, we can't take our eyes off the prize because Herb will kill us. But I don't think yes. you immediately go home no, once you're, you're there like closing ceremonies. Yeah. So once out. they fucking what are they show us the Olympic village and plus you're mm-hmm. you're at home you're in you're in the u.s so you yes. also just have like random townies you can bring into i'm sure what? yeah Go. Let's I, do that. Think... yeah, I would like to have seen a part because the only time i've seen an olympic village in movies something terrible happens i would like to see in like a party the oh no we saw, we saw a good thing uh, that happened munich uh well, i, I oh. know munich but we oh, no. um in oh, no. cool runnings we see the, the olympic village yeah it's pretty lame the yeah. they, there's I them in the swiss in a bar fighting each other yeah. In Calgary. A... <laughs> Who gives a shit about Calgary? Oh, I feel like Calgary. I want like a Challengers style Olympic Village moment. Oh, yeah. You know something like that, right? We all no, sit. I, up, yes. Y'all sit at, at, the, at the front of the bed and just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen Challengers yet, but I'm assuming. Ooh, I think we could. Luca. We, we are, we're ready for that film. Whatever his last name is. Uh, I can't. I'm going to butcher Magnata. his Italian last name. No. Nope. Don't fuck with cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck with cats. Look, look at that. Oh, man. Okay. Um, so then we finally get to Lake Placid. They are in, I guess, it, I forget what they call the first round of the tournament. It's not the medal round. They do this in the like group stage or something like that. Yeah, I like thought it was group stage. They call the World and, Cup. And, and yeah, the World Cup is group stage. Toughest group I've ever fucking seen. It's I'm lucky. Sure. So, um, where is Ecuador? <laughs> like, what? They played nothing but like juggernauts. You think yeah. I probably at this time in eighty the number of teams that the countries that actually had ice hockey teams it's like us it's, Canada Europe, it's twelve and they're all Russia. great yeah like <laughs> it's true. it's Eastern and Western Europe and like the Northern, continent I, of the giant country of I was Russia say, I'd be surprised if like Ireland and England had teams it's it's Fuck I think no. it's very much like the North and North Europe yeah because I think yeah Central. it wouldn't be like the World Cup where like. United Kingdom actually breaks apart, mm. like and sends mm. individuals. Um, mm. yeah. So I'm thinking it's it's mainland Europe in the in the yeah. north. Yeah. And us and all of Russia and its subsidiaries. Fair. Um, so their group round is Sweden, Czechoslovakia, and Norway. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There's more. Sweden, Czechoslovakia, Norway, Romania, West Germany. Mm-hmm. That's everybody in their in their group stage. Um, we get to see so the the game we get to see the most of uh, before we get to Russia is Sweden, and uh, the Swedes are up one. Oh, I forgot to mention O'Callaghan gets hurt when the in the pre Olympic thing. Um, they are deciding like Walter's like you got to send him home and pull somebody else up. Like we just you you only get twenty guys. You can't afford to lose this guy. The best he could do is play in two weeks in the medal round. You need to get to the fucking medal round. So Walter trying to convince him to send OC home. Her I thought they were he... going to bring back Chad Powers here, right? Oh, like in, in in the sports movie, this is when the guy that comes back, yeah. the beloved, yeah. the fan favorite. Yeah. Um, but Herb recognizes that like they need OC. He's part of the he's not a Ruzioni who's named the captain, but he's an he's an important cog in the system. Um, and then in the first game versus the Swedes, McClanahan gets hurt. Who O'Callahan and McClanahan had some beef early on in the movie. They squashed it, they're buds now. Um so he gets taken out. Um, they're down, I guess, one nothing going into the locker room. And her needs to figure out a way to get them fired up. This guy plays head games. So many head games, y'all. And I hate him. Like, you do. Hate but that's guy. where like you need a common enemy. Like some coaches yeah. do that. They're like, I can't have them hating each other, so they're gonna hate me. Um you and he goes and he's like, Why are, why are you in your uniform? What is it just a, oh, it's just a bruise on the leg? You know, like you're a quitter? You're a baby? Just put on your street clothes then. Get out of here. And he's like, yeah, nobody's like calls him a candy ass yeah. and then walks out and he gets hype. <laughs> McClane he heads up on his leg and he's swinging it and he's not and he goes, You think that'll work, coach? Think that'll do? <laughs> well and the, the doctor was literally like, I mean, no, it's not gonna get worse, but it's gonna be extremely painful for him. <laughs> Just like he should not do this. Herb needed to get a two dams. Up. Yeah, God, what um, an asshole. So then the Swedes are up two one. They're start playing really uh like intense the hockey it looks legit considering yeah it's pretty good that's like it's it the action is good in this film looks really good um 
it's we're down i think to the last period the last seconds of the period they uh the u.s pulls their goalie they put out another skater that person one times it because he yells at him earlier come on guys you gotta give the one timers the guy they put in the puck comes to him one times it tie it up Mm -hmm. we don't lose but it's two two so that is a one point zero point probably probably one one. one. probably get one and then three for a win yep yeah i think that's it so that's it that's a one in our thing great um we beat czechoslovakia seven three we see none of that game um that would have been fun we scored Um, a lot (laughs) yeah it seems great uh we also beat norway you know five one we don't see a lick of that game um we see these press conferences herb won't let them talk to individual players they're accusing him of just wanting the spotlight but i think it's because like they really want to talk to jim craig was one asshole one asshole reporters like you know people are saying i'm like that's you you suck yeah yeah people are saying it's me and my friends yeah um but he's just trying to like keep them focused they're there to to fucking beat russia this is not worth it um and then we also don't get to see this game, but we beat West Germany four to two. Mm. Go us. Mm-hmm. Um, so we are finally at the medal round. What the fuck? That's it. We're at the medal round, which is wild. And it's mm-hmm. us versus Russia, Sweden versus Finland. That's it. All these teams. So my only question though, so we're we were in the same okay, so it must be the top two teams from each bracket. Yeah. Go to the medals. Yeah. I'm actually yeah. looking at it right right now. There's a consolation round, the third place. There's two different divisions, I have to say, with six teams each. The okay. third place in each division goes into the consolation round. That's for fifth place. Okay. And then uh, the final four, uh, depending on... They play on, each other. Uh, and then, play, yeah. play each other. And then the top three teams, based on points, not just who wins the top. And, oh. Like you, you, oh. you could win the final game and you can lose by goal differential. <gasps> Fuck that. And, Fuck that yeah. stupid shit. Luckily, so luckily that, 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 that didn't happen. So absolutely yeah. not. That what? That sounds so stupid. That is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, because because the US won both. Uh the USSR had uh had had the loss. They did not, even though the goal differential was, was insane. Because they scored man. 51 goals, they said. Yeah, insane. Yeah. Insane. That's nuts. That's so stupid. What the fuck? That is the dump. <laughs> that's USO, so complicated. IOC, whoever that is, shut yeah. that the fuck down. Shut it down. That is we, so unnecessarily complicated. We're not doing that in the World game. Cup. You win, you win. Mm. Get the fuck. Oh, God. That makes yeah. me mad. Okay. Anyway, now I, I got to focus on this. Okay. Um. <laughs> so we we got the luck of the draw. We're playing Russia. And this, like, they mention it, but you forget it. That it's just, like, the first round. Because I remember when I watched mm-hmm. this, like, the first time. We were like, so we're like, yes, we, we, we. and then we're like, oh shit, that's not the, there's another game. And we then have a game to play still. US Sweden get short shrift in this film. Barely yeah. gets mentioned. No one fucking cares. <laughs> Barely gets mentioned. A, we don't see a second of it. Um, mm-hmm. So we're playing Russia. Um, Craig has to take the press conference because Herb's feelings were hurt. He's like, oh, you think I'm hogging the spotlight? Craig, go ahead. Um, he really is a piece of shit, this guy. <laughs> he's a jerk. He's a bit of a jerk. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so then OC... Oh, the committee wants to come in and say hi to the guys before the game. Stiff arm. Absolutely not. Stay out of this fucking locker room. It's right. my locker room. Get out of here. Um, OC gets suited up. He's pretty excited. And then Herb gives a great warm-up speech that it goes nine times out of ten. The Russians are going to win. But not tonight. Mm-hmm. Tonight, the Russians aren't winning. This is the one time where we win. We skate with them. We shut them down because we can. Tonight, we are the greatest hockey team in the world. He says a bunch of other stuff, but that's the only things I wrote down. And <laughs> you got what the important speech? Part. I'm it's fucking amped. Speech. Let's go. I'm going to run through a wall for this man. Um, we learned that the average age of the U.S. team is 21. Uh, Al Michaels and the other guy re-recorded a lot of their audio except for the final line. Um, Jim Craig is on fire throughout. You see a lot of great saves from him. I would have, I could probably look it up, but I don't want to. Uh, his final save total. Um, a lot. Yeah. Uh, he, there is like a slashing call that leads to the first goal. Apparently, that's that's not accurate. That's not what happened. Mm. But whatever. There were, yeah, there was no call. It 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 was a no call that 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 took one of the U.S. players off mm. off to the side, yeah. and they were able to 
slap it in there so yeah and then we get um oc comes off the bench uh i think it's like towards the end of the first period gives a hard hit oh wait no no this is the first goal so oc comes off the bench comes in lays a massive hit on a guy johnson i think gets free ties it up one one Mm -hmm. um craig playing a hell of a game but then we're up two one the crowd start they're up two one crowd starts chanting usa usa um, I make a note while watching the Russians. Wow, the puck movement is impressive. It's delightful <laughs> yeah. to watch. It's really great. It's really it's great. It's really pretty. Um, oh, I don't know who scored the first goal. It wasn't Johnson because I now have Johnson. Uh, oh, it's at the end of the first period. Um, Johnson gets a shot off with like maybe a second. Left, maybe not. I don't know. The clock expires. <laughs> Russia thinks they, the goal shouldn't have counted at the end of the first period. But we have it all knotted up. He's scared. You too, <laughs> it, was, it was something like that. He was, he was yelling just yelling at the sky. He was yelling at the sky. Yeah. And great. then my my subtitles were yelling and shouting in Russian, yeah, yelling in Russian, in Russian, speaking yeah. in Russian. <laughs> this is in Russian. And I'm like, no, I heard it. Um, but uh, so then there's that. Um, going into the second period, they pull the goalie that's been their goalie for like over a decade. The guy who's like, if you score on him, save the puck. He's out. New guy's in. That guy might not make it home to Russia. Right. Uh, we can check. I'm sure he did. Sorry. That's, that's true. True. Um, you know, it's technically, Siberia is in Russia, so I think you're right. <laughs> oh, he's in a work camp. Um <laughs> And then this is where I wrote myself. I was like, God, I feel like I'm watching this game in real time because it, it like, it and, that's, that and that's where like you're kind of getting a little bored because they do fly through all the other games. They just could be quick recaps. We watch have to watch time. Look at Herb spending time with his family, arguing with his wife, all, all, all this shit that I don't care about. Very long but, hot chocolate scene at the ice skating rink. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, but then when enough. we get to this game, the hockey, the hockey is pumping. The oh, oh, they're calling a great. It's it gets so exciting, so intense. You're on the edge of your seat again. You know what happens, but you're still mm-hmm. on the edge of your seat. You have this willing suspension of disbelief, saying, "I don't know what's gonna happen." <laughs> um, so then, uh, let's see, the Russians put a new goalie. Um, hard hit, hard hit on Jim Craig, the goalie. Who's not wearing a helmet? He just has yeah. that Jason face mask on. Holy mm-hmm. shit! Mm-hmm. Um, I think common day or old days they would say uh, the parlance would have been ah, he got his bell rung. I was gonna say he got his bell rung. He's got his <laughs> bell rung. Uh, nowadays that's a concussion, and yeah. he probably should be taken out of the game. He has suffered. We don't a want TBI. a Tua Tagalavoa, whatever. <laughs> oh god, that that is unsettling to watch. It really is. It yeah, really is. it's scary. <laughs> Yeah, this man's this man's hand was all crinkled up. <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no. But he shakes it. It's just got his bell rung. Shake it yeah. off. Let's get back yeah, in right. there. Um, but off of that play, they got the Soviets got a goal, so it throws three two. It's the only goal we see in that period because now we're in the third period. Still three two. This is where we learn the Soviets have scored fifty one goals in the group round. The U.S. is unbeaten, but we have a tie. That was in quotes, guys. Uh, um, I don't count ties. I'm sorry. You didn't well, win, you didn't un- lose. That's not being unbeaten. unbeaten. That's that's why they they give you a point for a tie. So it's not like well ties. Yeah. Because you're, you're a lot of places, ties just Nobody not a loss. Beat you. It looks different on the on the score sheet there. Yeah. You could say you're lossless, unbeaten. <laughs> I don't know about that. Mm. <laughs> why? So, yeah. Yeah. Like splitting hairs. Yeah. yeah. Um. So then we're going into this, the third and final period. The crowd is chanting, you, set, you. I needed the actual crowd that's being filmed to be more like fucking bananas. Because that's what mm. I think it would have been like in that stadium arena. Yeah. Um, but Herb goes to listen to him. That's what you've done. Come, We've come from behind in every game. We're going to keep doing it tonight. Um Sorry, I just thought of the innuendo there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I hadn't even considered it. Jimmy Craig on fire, just stopping him, kick saving, diving, flipping, flopping all over the place. Sometimes I'm like, Ugh, should you have gone down? It's going to be really hard to get. I don't know. The rebound, <laughs> I don't know. I have thoughts about goalkeeping. Um, so many saves, but we finally get a penalty. We're up on the power. I was, I was calling it a man up opportunity, but I realized they call these power plays. Um, so we're getting a power play. 
Uh, comes down to the last second. Johnson scores again. It's three all. Um, more hockey's happening. Then we got Rizzo, the captain, off the bench. He scores. It's four three. We're halfway through the third period. We got ten minutes left. Jim mm. is on fire. Um, Herb switches to we're doing thirty to forty second shifts, which to mm. me seems a little dangerous. I feel like that's a lot of turnover. That's but that's why. That's why they did the prep. That's why they were but prepared. The, they had the gas yeah, tank fresh. for it. So hope, just hopefully mm-hmm. no one no one turns an ankle or some shit. Well, <laughs> I just feel like the time steps. the time getting on yeah. and off the ice. Woo, that feels dangerous to me. Yeah. <laughs> um so we're we're keeping the legs fresh. We're doing it. I'm mean, again, this is so exciting. Uh, I'm energized, I'm engaged, I'm on the edge of my seat. What's gonna happen? Um they get the call out for being well conditioned by Al and uh his co whatever i can't remember the other guy's name jim craig is on fire and they're like he wants to put someone in i think he wants to put oc back in her wants to put someone in but he's gonna wait until the russians pull the goalie but it never happens because they don't know what to do because they're never down they didn't know to pull a goalie herb's like what the fuck not not literally but you can see it in his eyes. <laughs> they don't um, have a strategy for this they don't have a strategy for this time is winding down the clock is ticking ticking we get the infamous al michaels line which they cleaned up even though they tried to have al I'll re-record it because you just can't make up this level of intensity you can't do you believe in miracles yes yes we did it we beat the <laughs> we russian yeah. another game to play but we beat the russians yeah and then there's like oh we still have to beat sweden but that yeah also we beat, we beat a different team it's fine yeah, yeah yeah apparently we could have not won the gold medal because of whatever the yeah. shenanigan shit that was yeah, they, did. they had yeah. to come from behind again <laughs> so like yeah. show me that game too well, no, no. It, no i just if they the if they if they'd lost the the the... oh yeah if that they lost because oh, that's like that wasn't technically the gold medal game it was. Yeah. Uh, I'm just sorry. They played game. the second game that, that 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 they had to play, and the goal that differential is, that is wild. The Soviets beat Sweden nine to two, so or the Czechs or <laughs> I, I forgot. No, no, so you're right. I got it wrong. So we had to beat Finland to win the gold medal. I always thought it was Sweden, but we um we beat Finland to win the gold medal. But yeah, there's a chance that like the fucking Soviet like that yeah, is yeah. a wild. None of this. All you lose to Finland, meaningless. yeah, because. Ten Dear goals IOC, for the U.S. Change the Soviets. The Big Soviets six. sixteen goals for. I just it, it would have come down to that. So. Again, Jesus IOC Jesus gets Christ. rid of this fucking trash. Right. By winning game, I win. Once once we're into the medal round, yeah, all it's, previous now it's a single illusion tournament. Out the fucking window, you <laughs> losers! Oh my yeah. god! Um. So we yeah we beat Finland. We win the gold medal. Blah, blah, blah. It's a lot more in hockey. Not only for those who played, but those who watched it. America needed it. Dream teams are ironic because now they're full of superstars and no one gets to dream. I, yeah. The, no, man. It's not It's not the dream team for the players. It's the dream for all the fans. It's, we are. It's not about the players having their dream, dummy. Like, it's yeah, not. But it, you've yeah. missed the point. I can see it both ways. Anyway. Um, so that's all you know, that's it. We get to watch yeah. them get their medal ceremony. Um, and then they did this thing at the end where you got to see the actor who they were playing and then what that guy is doing in real life. I yeah. feel like we've other sports movies or historical movies do this where it's the actor, then the picture fades into the real person. And then I'm like, why Why couldn't we have done that? It was so weird. It was so dark. <laughs> I don't dark. know I'm why like, they didn't do that. It was weird. I'm like, Eddie Eddie Cahill doesn't own a fucking finance company. And this guy's <laughs> not the true, true coach right? of Minnesota this... women's hockey team. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Very weird. And this fucking guy's not a, you know, a principal at Bear Stearns. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> but buddy. <laughs> Two years from oh, now, buddy. No. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, was that will be a Bear Stearns guy? Yeah, there was a Bear oh, Stearns no. guy. I, I, whenever I watch the end, I'm like, oh no, he oh, does. He doesn't oh, know. Oh no! Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully he retired by then. <laughs> I maybe? hope so. I hope so. Crossed. I hope so. Yeah, just golden parachute. Um, I guess so 2004. Things, though, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. One of the things we like doing on this pod is taking a look at a minor character to see if this movie would start a big things of their peak of their whole career. So it's time for an IMDb deep dive. Dana, who we got to dive on this week? Okay, I'm taking a page out of Dave's book. Uh-oh. And we're going to talk about Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Please let him be Russian. 
There are a lot. <laughs> a lot of the. I was checking the actors here, and oh, there's some stories. Um, oh, no. This is the only one that came to my attention. Um, so we're going to talk about Michael Mantenuto, who played uh, OC. Was it Jim O'Callaghan? Yes, not Jim. Jack. Jack O'Callaghan. Um, Mr. Mantenuto was born in 1981 in Holliston, Massachusetts. So that was probably an accurate accent. Probably, yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Was this the clear. <laughs> was this the start of things? Yes. This is his first film. Okay. He then goes into uh star in a TV movie in 2006. Not star. He's just fucking in it. It's called Dirt Bags. Okay. Um. Then in 2008, he goes, uh, he's in a movie called Surfer Dude. Uh, he's going his, great so far. His uh, character's name is House Poser. Mm. <clears throat> then what happens to Mr. Oh, wait. Uh, he retires happily? not here. No, 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 no. no. That's a dairy farm. Um, no. He played at Maine. So then uh, at some point, he decides to forego acting because it's not really working for him and he joins the military and i okay. think in 2011 was in afghanistan i believe is what i was reading on the uh. internet um so he does you know switch careers switch paths in life um he earned he was awarded an army commendation medal three army achievement medals Three conduct, good conduct medals, and the Global War of Terror, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal. Hey, wonderful, he's um, a hero. Yes, but Uh-oh. but 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 but. <laughs> yeah. uh, in twenty seventeen, mm-hmm. he takes his own life. Oh, self inflicted gunshot wound. Oh Jesus! In Washington fucking... State, he's a goddamn yeah. Green Beret. It's yeah, fuck oh, sucks. Yeah, so thanks, Dana. I'm sorry, it just came up. It's I was, taking I was a page hoping, out of Dave's book. No, I was hoping it was gonna be an armed robbery thing or you know, no, 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 no. DUI killed somebody or something. No, there was another yeah. car crash. One of the actors, hmm. there was a cancer. Uh, yeah, the yeah, one one of the guys who played uh, one of the Russian guys had a brain tumor that was pretty bad. Oh. Well, there's, some, there's some sad stories here. Yeah, some uh, sad stories this one. But yeah, he well, uh, retired from acting. Uh, well, yeah, goes in the okay. military. And Very sad. That's takes that's that's so that is Sorry. tragic. Well, I will say, does... Michael Mantenuto, you were fantastic in this movie as Jack O'Callahan. He was good. Great. You brought a lot of energy. You were good at hockey. Mm-hmm. Rest All of the peace, above, sir. Yeah. Yes. Well, that does bring us to the end of this episode. And just like the end of the school year, that means it's time to nuts and superlatives. I can't. Uh, it was a hard week this week. We don't get any development from any of these guys. I don't know who any of them were. I can't tell them apart. It's like white squall all over again. So I'll just say that <laughs> all of these guys are most likely to tear up at every Olympic opening ceremony. I got nothing. I They love they love the Olympics, love America. That's That's all they gave us. <laughs> Uh, this next movie is Dave's pick. Dave, what are we going to watch next? I didn't know that this movie was like a high school movie Mm. uh, because I'd only ever seen one scene from it. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Many people who grew up during this year have only seen, well, many young men who grew up during this year have only seen one scene from this Mm -hmm. movie. I'm one of them. I've never seen the rest of the movie, but I've always wanted to. And it's on Netflix. So I figured 1998's erotic thriller wild things would be good to discuss i think that i think right. it's a good idea i think it's a really good idea god erotic yeah. high school thriller why is that erotic wait. thriller so that's all that's all i'm gonna yeah it says erotic Can't thriller so that's wait i oh, have seen this film i watched I've it in not, high school that's the last I've time seen, i saw it i'm certain dave and i have seen the exact same number of seconds of this film <laughs> like i think we well, started in at the exact same time yeah I oh am... brother the one who was, you know, slightly older in the crowd. So 1998, wow. I probably saw this, you know. Yeah, I, I probably would have seen this in 0102. 
somewhere in that range, I would guess. <laughs> Guys, that does it for this week's episode. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a five star review. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Recap and Gown Pod. That is R E C A P N G O W N P O D. And join our Facebook group, the Recap and Gown Fan Club. We'll keep the discussion going in there all week. If you guys have any opinions or memories of this movie, we'd love for you to jump in and let us know what you think. But if you didn't like what you heard, to quote Herb, what in the hell is wrong with you? Take it easy, millennials. We'll see you next week. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joey Galvez. I want to tell you guys a little bit about the Department of Metahuman Affairs. This one is a story about a team led by a retired sidekick, two felons, a failed actor from Broadway, and a reprogrammed cyborg. But their first mission is to stop the criminals who have robbed a bank, and they will have to set the world at ease. You're going to get 180 pages of entertainment action-packed awesomeness right here in the first six issues in a collected hardcover volume one. All you got to do is head on over to kickstarter.com and type in the Department of Metahuman Affairs or DMA and check it out right now.